I'm Sarah Shamma. I'm an artist, painter. I was born in Damascus, Syria, 1975, to a Syrian father and a Lebanese mother. Now I live and work in London. I moved here five years ago. Since my graduation, I had many exhibitions in Syria and around the world. But one particular exhibition in one particular city had a very important impact on my life. It was in Coventry in June 2001, exactly 20 years ago. I was invited with another Syrian artist, Fadi Yazici, by the British Council to show my work at Herbert Art Gallery and Museum. The exhibition was supported by Coventry City Council and Coventry University. I came to the opening and I spent a few days in Coventry, where I learned about its history and about the role this great city decided to play after the war. Because of Coventry, I loved the UK and I started building a special relation that ended up by me moving here. In 2004, I won the fourth prize at the BP Portrait Award in London. The following years, I continued coming almost once every year to the UK, and I decided that one day I will move here. The last exhibition I had in Damascus was in January 2011. It was called Birth, almost 30 paintings that I created when I was pregnant with my first child. Two months later, the unrest started in Syria and developed into a terrible war that destroyed my country. My next exhibition, Q, took place at the Royal College of Art in London in 2013, a series of 10 paintings which formed a 61-foot-long queue of people and animals. It explored themes of humanity and group mentality. In 2014, my exhibition, Diaspora, in Dubai, depicted subjects who have fled their homeland in search of better life. In 2015, another exhibition in London entitled World Civil War Portraits. It was a cinematic journey of the experience of war and its horrors. In 2016, I moved to London with my family. I established a new studio and I started working here. But I kept my home and my studio in Damascus where I continue going every few months to visit and work. In London, I discover new colors, new lights, new sensations. The green and its optimism started to penetrate my paintings. So the next exhibition was called London and it was shown in Dubai in 2017. I invited some children to my studio to sit for a series of portraits. Then I gave them art materials to experiment with and elements of the resulting drawings were selected by me and transferred onto the children's portraits. In 2019, I collaborated with King's College London to create an exhibition that portrayed women's experiences of modern slavery. I interviewed many survivors in London, listened to many scary stories and realized the scale of this issue that affects 40 million people around the world. After London, the exhibition Modern Slavery became a touring exhibition. It went to Chester Cathedral in 2020. This year it is going to Luton, then to Ellie Cathedral, and it is booked in other venues for 2022 and 2023. Today, I'm very happy to participate with this video in Coventry Welcomes Festival that concedes with the Refugee Week especially this year that Coventry is the UK city of culture. Coventry inspired me and continues inspiring me. And now, after the war in Syria, Coventry became a role model that I hope Syria will follow. Coventry was destroyed during war, but instead of facing the war and its elements with hate, it faced them with love. It became the city of peace and reconciliation, the city of sanctuary for thousands of refugees, and started the concept of twin cities. Only with these principles, the people of Coventry were able to rebuild their beloved city and their lives. The provost of Coventry Cathedral, Richard Howard, promised that when the war was over, the cathedral would work with the people who were before the enemies to build a kinder, more Christ-childlike world. I hope that Syria will learn from Coventry I hope that we forget our wounds, we reconcile with each other, and we rebuild our country. 
I hope that the cross of nails of Coventry will inspire us too to spread the message of peace and forgiveness.